Hello everyone, it's Hot Blake Mike, back with another video, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, we're still currently embroiled in a war with Rome, but the Veneti have started attacking us in northern Italy, so I basically need to try and hold the settlements while I fight the Romans um, simultaneously. Because we're not able to retrain the troops here, a lot of our units are quite depleted, because we're waiting on the sort of culture conversion, but uh, we should be able to hold this one if we kind of get them in the choke point with the Hot Blake, so I'm going to jump in here. So we're going to adopt the usual approach, just going to get the guys in the square and then sort of try and hold the choke point. Fortunately our, most of our hotbite units are depleted. My main concern is getting sort of surrounded. Sometimes the opposing forces can get around you. Uh, we might need to bring in the general as well, but uh, hopefully not. I was just going to see if there's somewhere we could line up the cav to kind of flank, but uh, it might be difficult. If I put the car here, then I can potentially bring them around. If the enemy is coming around here through this order, I can station the car here ready to run around and flank. So I'll fast forward this bit. Just get the guys into guard and shield wall. Now only swords and brave hearts can hold this place. The ladders are at the walls, but there is still time enough to gather for a counterattack. Quickly. Look to the inner defenses. The walls have fallen to the enemy. Yep, so I can put around. Okay, it looks like. Let's move these guys back a bit so they don't get exposed at the front. Yeah, the pathfinding isn't the the best. This is a war hand. Looks like it is. Go go go! Waiting for orders. Oh, play. Harry. Waiting for orders. Hopefully the cavalry can stay undetected. Once they send in the bulk of their forces here, I'll just run around with the cav and flank them. What's that? Swordsman. Now, as they come around with... Well, yeah, I mean, everything that comes around here to attack the cav will get pelted by missiles. The general. Militia 
Yeah, I think. Yeah, we're beginning to struggle here. So let's bring in some of the armor top lights. Now he flees the field like a coward. It's around here. Warband. Right, let's bring the car around. Use the uh, rally trips as well ability as well. Chosen swordsman, yeah, they're very strong. So it's not a surprise that we're struggling slightly. At the general it is. Yep, that's the general dead. Okay, so that was worth chasing after him. Let's get the car back here. So we can do some flanking. They routed pretty quickly, unfortunately. And as the general appears to be holding at the front, I'm just going to pull him back here. And that's it. So I'll use the general to chase down. Fortunately, we lost our carb needlessly. The uh, flanking didn't really work. It looks like our general's gonna kinda clear up. Attack quickly. Attack quickly. Destroy them. Attack quickly. Yeah, I don't really want to take friendly fire off the, the main tower there. They're bigger to deal with those chosen swordsmen though. Looks like the tower's gonna do a fair amount of damage. You know, the tires out of range, the general should do the rest. Alright, so heroic victory, unfortunately we did lose a lot of troops, so we're down to very low numbers. So let's Jump back into the battle map. I think there was a Roman force lurking behind them, so it might be impossible to hold. Glorious victory! The, another heroic defense at Aretium. It looks like they're about to attack Ariminum. There is usually a bit of lag after battles, it seems.
Okay, so the Vanetti are pushed back for the time being. We do have this force that can reinforce uh, Eratium. That's another full stack. And okay, actually, if we take if we reinforce Eratium here. Should be able to hold it. I mean, there's a lot of units in here which are essentially yes, uh, completely, completely done. Let's just move the, the units back around here. The ones that I can't really do anything with. And now we have a decent garrison at Aretium. Should be able to hold against the Romans. I do want to go to Suggesta. Let's so just hop wait. Okay, so we should have a force here. Our uh, hotlights coming up to assist, and this town should be recruiting hotlights. Okay, so now we can get armor hotlights and crotons. So now we are in business. Fortunately, our economy is not doing great. How about Trenton? Is that like twenty-one percent? Okay, so now we can get hotlights here as well. And what about Kapua? Still not moved. Let's keep going here. And our force at... So our fleet here did get attacked and it is looking slightly low. So I'm just going to take that back to retrain it. Unfortunately we're still waiting on a turn of Spartan Hoplite so I can't take them off queue. Or else I'll lose that progress. Yes, it gives us time to recruit the... Greek cavalry. So there's a Roman fleet there, just a big fleet of boats. Nothing special. Okay, I want to keep recruiting it there as well. As this is now about to yeah so we're about to lose Cardonia automatically so I need to attack this force Sir. Ships ready. My lord. right My lord. let's let's go ahead so it's, I mean I don't have good troops here, but we're about to lose this regardless in one turn automatically so I need to fight it. Yeah, so I do need to be careful on this one just because our troops are not as good. They're a lot worse actually. Especially on this difficulty. Our troops only have morale of 2, which means they will break easily. Usually it's okay in a, in a siege because you can put them on the square and that makes them unbreakable, but um, in, a, in an attacking battle you can't do that obviously. Hoplite! 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 Hopl
Keep the general alive as well. If we lose the general, then we definitely lose. Units. Put the front line into shield wall. See if I can close up the gaps here. Yeah, I'm just gonna move up here. Waiting for orders. Units, move out. Hop like militia. Unfortunately, we're breaking formation a bit here. So they have English hot plates just like we do, but theirs will be better than ours because of the buffs. They have peasants in their centre, which we should be able to defeat those. And they've got carve on the wings, which will be pretty tricky. I'm just going to get everyone to stop here so that I can get the formation sorted. Let's just proceed in shield wall. I'll let them waste their ammo on us. Alright, I'll just create a box here. Right. Hop like militia! Hop like 
Need to try and make sure the guys stay together. Now to rally the troops here. Now that's the first unit routed. So there might be a mash route over here. That's their general dead though. So they will take some penalties as well. Okay, so they have routed over here. Right, let's get the guys back. They're on this side. Yeah, this is the problem with the militia lights is once one routes. The rest of them start to route. Are oh, these militia hoplites? We should be able to beat these with the amount of forces that we have. Let's see if I can flank with one a couple of these units. So general, where I say that's not good at all. That we might be able to get a flank here. Okay. So most of them have now routed. Let's head towards the militia cav. Don't. I mean, if I can try and flank them, that'd be better. Routed. Okay. And I guess come up routing as well. Victory! Okay. So I will chase the enemy troops. But I don't think I'll get many of them without Cav. Just fast forward here. Right, so that is a heroic victory. We lost about 200, but uh, took them down to 250, 260. Right, so we have dealt with the invaders there. And now we need to sort out public order and retrain our troops. I think I do need to try and make sure that we have uh, proper oblites for the next siege because that one was fairly close. Ships ready. Ships ready. So these should be all... The boats here should be ready. being retrained. Might not have enough money for that. Not quite. Okay, so uh, I'll just retrain what I can here. Ready! Ready to sail! I think we've moved our forces as much as possible. Should be retraining this wall. Sorry, repairing this wall. It's like they will get sieged again. My lord. And what it does, looking a bit low. Okay, let's uh, let's end the turn now.
ferrymen will be busy today. The enemy have been yeah, so they are the aggressors in this one, so I don't need to send them to fight. Disheartened, they need to actually go for the city. I think they have reinforcements as well. I don't know where they're coming in from. Uh, we just have one unit. So let's drop the. Oh, we've already dropped the siege cutting. Okay. Uh, all right. So their reinforcements are over here. So I think what I'll do is I'll line up most of the trips over here. Join up our guys here. Don't want to get hit by the towers on the way past. Hopefully, we don't get caught here. Oh, we've got lights. Well, we should be as quick as them. Yeah, I don't really want to be fighting on the downslope. So let's just line up here. Hopefully we're out of range of the tower. Okay, uh, into phalanx, watch field wall formation. Their armor top lights are a lot better than our hot lights because they are just naturally better troops and they have the I think they have upgrades as well. Okay, this is it then. Make sure we don't get flanked here, we're a bit. Yeah, they're overloading this side of it, so I'm just going to bring around the general to flank. Not the overall in command general, just the other two. Should so you get a flank off here? Yep, they've routed. Rally the trips. Line is a bit of a mess. Uh, I think we sent her. See if I can protect the arch, is it? Yep, that's it, he's dead. Yep, seems to be doing fine here. I'm just going to bring around the unit head to see if I can flank. I mean, I shouldn't really be having any trouble with peasants, but... No, I'm still fighting with them. Uh, 
Unless that is. Now there's some hot lights in there. Missile fire, I'm not too worried about. I won't take many casualties to that. Uh, there's so, a you know, pop lights, routes. Infantry. Send in most of our forces over here. This is where the battle is. I think it's the. I think it's the general struggling with. Yeah, I think this is this battle's pretty much won. Shows his true colors as he runs from the battle. What's it? The, uh... General takes a while to deal with. Now he flees the field like a coward. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Uh, I don't really want to get close to the archers because they. I get fired up by the tower, and I don't know where you're going. Let's get everyone back here. Okay, so I think I do need to actually siege here. Because otherwise they'll just come back from routing continuously and we won't be able to win. The tower will do quite a bit of damage, which is why I'm keeping the forces back for now. Right, no, I don't want to drop. Our siege towers have reached the walls. Now there will be hard fighting to break the defenses. Yep. So let's uh, let's take the towers, and then we can run through. So I need this unit to. We'll run through the towers and then we'll take control of them. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, 
Only frightened rabbits running from our men. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay, so now we have control of the towers. I'm just going to run through this one as well. Just that they have control of it. And the guy should be able to get into the city now. Let's run through here as well. And the, shower, the tower should shoot them on the way past. Okay, let's just head up to the square with our plates here. And onto the square. No, these are armor top lights, so it might take us a while to deal with them. But we have control of the square. We must have forces elsewhere. Just take one unit to deal with the peasants. And that is the end, so I'll finish up there. So the Civil War has ended. We have dealt with the secessionists. So I will exterminate. Just because the public order is still an issue, but we can see that Tylus is now converted to a Greek settlement. Faction destroyed. Sparta secessionists. Okay, so the city of barracks is Greek, so we should be able to retrain everything, which we can. Byzantium is still holding firm. I just want to see... Try and get a line of sight up here. I still can't see the, the settlement. Let's say the tireless capital. Yeah, we should be able to retrain these boats. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. I think I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, hopefully, we can take our boat all the way to Rome with our Spartan Hot Bites. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.